But fun fact about me, I have never read Twilight, The Hunger Games, or Harry Potter. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Megan, you can call me Meg if you want to. And for the first ever video on my channel, oh my god, I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag because I will be posting a lot of bookish content on here and I figured this would be a good way for you guys to get to know me and my reading tastes a little bit better so let's get into it. So the first question is why did I start this channel? Kind of a long story but I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel ever since I was 15 and in high school I took a video course um, and I've always loved like watching YouTube videos, it's something that always interested in me, but I was always too scared to like actually do the thing until I started posting on TikTok and making videos that way. And I feel like through TikTok, I was able to like get used to talking to a camera and like projecting my voice because I would be talking like this, like super, super low because I would be like embarrassed that I was filming videos but you know it's whatever so we're doing the dang thing now. The second question is what are some fun and unique things that I can bring to booktube? Um, so my own personal opinion on things I'm sure that's what a lot of people say but you know it's the truth no one ever reads the same book um, and we all have our own unique opinions on things. I also feel like I read a lot of um, backlisted books or lesser known books on booktube so I'd love to like talk about those kind of books and get like the word out on things that I really love that maybe people haven't heard of yet. Okay the next question is what am I most excited for about this channel? I'm honestly just excited to be posting and making videos that I've thought about making for what it seems like forever, honestly. Um, I'm excited to like create a community of people who love the same things I do um, and just like talk about things and have those discussions about things that we love um, and like making more internet friends. <laughs> The next question is, why do I love reading? Well, why does anyone love reading? It's the escapism. <laughs> Listen, this pandemic has been rough, to say the least, and I think reading has really helped, like, escape that, you know, and go to another world where maybe these problems are a little obsolete compared to other things, you know? <laughs> um, and I don't know, I love getting to experience certain things and the emotions of certain things without actually having to go through it myself because like I feel like a good book is one that can make me feel things emotionally um like if you make me cry with a book then it's a good book um don't know what that says about me but you know that that's another video for another time all right the next question is what series got me into reading Listen, I know what you're expecting me to say, okay? I know most people, they're either going to say like Twilight or The Hunger Games or Harry Potter, but fun fact about me, I have never read Twilight, The Hunger Games or Harry Potter. I know, shocking that those people exist in the world, but you're looking at one. <laughs> No, my childhood and what got me into reading was The Warrior Cats by Erin Hunter, which I know that's just like a ghostwriter name. There's like three people who work on that series. But yeah, I was a Warrior Cats kid, which is actually that um, stuffy back there, the cat. That's Firestar from the series, which I got as a present for my birthday one year. Thanks, mom. And then... Um, Speaking of my mom, we also read this one series called um, the Mother Daughter Book Club series by Heather Vogel Frederick. We like buddy read that together while I was in middle school, so that really has a special place in my heart. I finished the series. My mom still has not. So, and then she actually released like a new, like a final, final book for the series a couple years ago, which I haven't read yet, but all the other ones I have. So I'm gonna need to like reread everything um, for that. But yeah, those two, 
Mother Daughter Book Club and Warriors. They really got me into reading. Okay, the next question is, what questions would I ask my favorite booktubers? Um, can we be friends? No, I would never, <laughs> I would never ask that because I feel like it needs to be organic. Um, but I think I would ask them, one, how do they get good at like making a synopsis of a book? Synopses? Synop synopsises? How, what's the plural of that? <laughs> um, but either way, whatever you want to call it, I feel like I am not good at giving a synopsis of a book whatsoever. I feel like I'm either too vague or I'm too detailed. Like I can't find that happy medium. So I'd love to know how they do that without just reading off the back of the book and giving like a summary or a little blurb that they have on the back of the book. So how you get good at writing, saying a synopsis of a book, and then two, how do you keep making new interesting content um, and getting like new ideas for booktube because I feel like it with booktube it'd be easy to fall into the trap of like okay this month at the beginning I'm going to do my monthly TBR and then at the end you'll do your monthly reading wrap up so that's two books and if you're only posting once a week that's like two out of the four weeks of the month so like how do you keep it interesting for yourself and for your audience um because i do have ideas but you know ideas can run out pretty quickly the next question is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome i think for me one of the biggest challenges is going to be consistency with filming editing and posting and again just keeping it interesting for myself because I don't want to fall again I don't want to fall into the trap of like okay I'll post I'll continually post the same bookish content every single month like monthly TBR monthly reading wrap up like I don't want to I don't want to do that because um, I feel like that can get kind of um not tedious monotonous that's the word. <laughs> the next question is, when did I start reading? Um, since forever? No, that's, well, obviously not since forever. Um, but since I learned to read, basically. Um, so like around three or four. My favorite book as a kid, before I like was reading fluently, my favorite book was Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And there's actually, <laughs> we actually have a home video of me reading Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And I say reading because I had just memorized the entire book, including where I needed to turn the pages. So there's a video of me sitting in the rocking chair that my mom used to read to me on. And I was repeating <laughs> the entire book and flipping through the pages, even though I didn't know how to read at that point. <laughs> so that's what you call dedication. The next question is, where do I read? It's right there, my bed. Um, I tend to read right before I go to sleep, which is not the best thing for my sleep schedule. I have been known to stay up until four in the morning just to finish a book. Um, so maybe I shouldn't read before bed, but you know, that's where I find the time. So that's when I'm gonna do it. Um, so I'll just prop my pillows up against my headboard um, have my lamp on and just read tucked into bed. Sometimes I will read, this is my desk chair that I'm sitting in right now, sometimes I will read here, especially if the book I'm reading is really good and I'm like in between projects for like a 10 minute break or something, but usually it's in my bed. I tend not to read in our living room because um, that's where a lot of distractions will happen and I can't be distracted when I'm reading. So it's usually contained to my bedroom. The next question is what kind of books do I like to read? Um, so I usually stick more towards the contemporary genre, whether it's YA contemporary, adult contemporary, or even like contemporary romances. It's usually within that genre. I do like fantasy. I'm not like opposed to it, I will read it occasionally, but the thing with me is that fantasy, it takes a lot of um, mental energy from me for like the world building and like if there's a magic system that's a whole other thing. And when I'm in my college semester, I really 
don't want to put that men mental energy for that. I'd rather just like have reading be more relaxing and um, less mental strain. So that's usually when I will read a lot of my contemporaries. But now that it's summer, I can read whatever I want because you know, we're on break. <laughs> no schoolwork for me. I also read a lot of romance books, um, but I guess that's kind of like within the contemporary genre. Um, I really love Christina Lauren and Emily. Emma Words are hard sometimes, but I really love Christine Lauren and Emily Henry's adult romance books. I tend not to read like any horror or thriller books. I did read The Girl on the Train um, with my high school book club and I loved that one. I couldn't put it down, um, but it's definitely not a genre that I will ever like voluntarily go to. I also don't read a lot of sci-fi at all, but like again, I'm not like opposed to reading sci-fi. I just don't gravitate towards it, if that makes sense. And the final question for the booktube newbie tag is what does my book collection look like? Obviously I'm not filming in front of it right now, I film in my room, um, and I, do, I have one bookshelf for books in my bedroom and the rest of them are in my basement. That is because in my basement, which I will insert a video of, in my basement there is an entire wall of bookshelves um, that we got from Ikea that is filled with the books that I've read and bought and the books my mom has read and bought. We have kept a list of all the books we have so far. It's not The list isn't even done yet because there's also a bookshelf in my dad's office. Um, but there's over a thousand books there. So yeah, I can't exactly fit that in my room, <laughs> but those books have been collected since I was a baby. So since like 1999 or 2000. Um, <laughs> so cause we don't really get rid of a lot of books because we tend to like to reread things. I still have books that I got at like the Scholastic Book Fair in middle school that I have not read yet, but I still do intend on reading those books at some point. So not a lot of unhauling goes on in this house, it really should. Um, but yeah, so here is a little overview of my bookshelves. I will do an in-depth video of giving like a tour of them and how it's organized, although I do want to reorganize the shelves downstairs at some point, so stay tuned for so that. We are in my basement now and these are all of the bookshelves that I have. There's more. Um, they are bookshelves from Ikea, but I'm not sure if they're the Billy bookshelves or not because we got these bookshelves for the house when I was like five. I I remember going to Ikea to buy them, but that's about it. So a little tour. These are all books from my childhood, as you can see. Um, and then over here, what is this? This is like poetry. This is all about like art and movie making. These are holiday books. Um, down here's nonfiction. One Direction has like their own section, biography, stuff like that. And then these main shelves are, right now they're organized alphabetically by author. Um, and as you can see, some of them are double stacked because I'm not the only reader in my family. My mom is two, and so were my grandparents. So when they passed, we inherited all their books. So there's a lot. But yeah. So that is it for my booktube newbie tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. Um, I do want to say that I will not just be posting bookish content. It will be a lot of what I post, but not everything. I love playing around with makeup, as you can probably tell from my face. <laughs> um, so I will definitely be posting some makeup videos as well as some lifestyle videos. Um, and also some tier ranking videos. I love watching those and I like really, really, really want to try my hand at making them because they seem so much fun. So definitely stay tuned for that. 
yeah i think that's it i hope you enjoyed i hope you stick around and please subscribe bye